in 2050, there are gonna be 9.7 billion people living on this planet. Food production will need to increase by 70% to meet the demand of a growing world population. However, the majority of our arable land is already occupied with existing crops. So what can we do? To feed more people, we believe we can go for single-cell technologies such as microalgae production concepts, but we don't need to have any arable land. A microalgae cultivation may not look like food at first, but microalgae biomass contains up to 70% protein and they are full of important nutrients and essential amino acids. They can grow on infertile land or even in buckets on rooftops as already happening in Bangkok. Currently, currently, free meat cannot be delivered by cultivating it. Plant and algae sources present another option for alternative protein sources, which are much more easier accessible. And best of all, microalgae pose a potentially sustainable solution in a world where soil depletion caused by global warming and overfarming is becoming an existential issue. So why aren't we seeing microalgae products on the market? Well, there are two challenges. Firstly, there are a bunch of inefficiencies making microalgae products, which leads to high production costs and limited affordability. Secondly, because of this production cost, there are limited attractive products for the consumer on the market. So let's improve production. And that's where we come in. You might have seen blue, green spirulina in your local chemists. It's been harvested for generations. As well as being beautifully colorful, it also packs more protein per pound than meat, soybeans, peanuts, and other typical vegan options. So to maximize this protein powerhouse, we grow it in tanks and use a process called pulsed electric fields, where we stimulate and nudge it with continuous pulses of electricity to harvest the protein. The challenge here is testing how much to stimulate the microalgae so we can get the most out of it without killing it. We found that we could boost production of microalgae biomass with valuable proteins by up to 17% thanks to very specific electric pulses. Moreover, we could even mix a yellow kind of microalgae into an alternative meat, creating something more nutritious. The world desperately needs new sustainable food sources. With more research like this, microalgae could soon be at the top of your shopping list.